uh, I did the model test papers in last one month of uh, speed. I was very like astonished to see a few questions like exactly came in the exam. Uh, thanks to your app <laughs> for providing such beautiful model test papers, like which actually mirrored like the final exam. Doctor, I bring in all the wishes and greetings on behalf of all the faculty members of Speed Medical Institute to Dr. Nikhil Nakpal for yes. a topmost rank of AML rank number five uh, in the specialty of DM clinical hematology in the yes, ECM session, April 2024. Thank, Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Doctor, uh, can we know a brief background from where you started? Uh, sir, I have done my MBBS from PG Government Medical College, Pune. And uh, I completed my MD Pediatrics from PJMS Rotak. I wow. completed my MD in uh, July 2023. So from Pediatric to Adult? Yes. Then I worked as a senior resident in Lady Harding Medical College and Kalavati Saran Children Hospital, Delhi. Great, Doctor. Why you want to do DM Clinical Hematology? Because Pediatrics is an end speciality. I mean, that's the reason why most of them choose instead of medicine to Pediatrics at the, time, at the point of time. Now, Sir, we have a division of uh, pediatric uh, hematology and oncology in our uh, postgraduate institute. So from that uh, time onward, like I had a feeling that uh, I want to like do something in hematology. So and hematology is the branch in which like if we intervene at time, we can actually reverse the natural course of the disease. So I wanted it. <laughs> That's why it, it was my calling. It was a call. And uh, now, how you join Speed? Uh, sir, actually, I uh, I did the model test papers in last one month of uh, Speed, and uh, I just uh, I was very like astonished to see a few questions like exactly came in the exam. So okay. mock tests they were like amazing. Okay, yes. Doctor, can you can you let us know? Uh, once you want to do a clin clinical hematology DM, your primary preparation was NEET or NESS? Sir, my primary preparation was INISS only. Why not NEET? Sir, uh, actually, <laughs> in NEET, I had to cover almost all the basically specialties. And uh, given the limited amount of time, like I took a call of doing hematology in February only, this February only. So I had two and a half months. So in that mean duration of time, I could only focus more on hematology than the other general aspects. Okay. It was a very focused exam and uh, a simple exam to take. Yes. Sir. And yes, uh, sir. I think it's a great call. Now, yes. can you tell us, you, I mean, the how much of time you could spend for the preparation? What all you did to achieve the rank? Sir, I used to like study uh, 8 to 10 hours a day, every day, uh, like since February, uh, February for around two to two and a half months. Uh, I used to uh, watch uh, videos and make notes. And then I used to revise. I could not cover general medicine as such. I, used, uh, I could only cover two units. Okay. But then luck was in my favor. <laughs> <laughs> How many questions did you attempt this exam? Uh, sir, I attempted 74 questions. Okay. So maximum number of questions gives good ranks and uh, yes. topmost ranks and yes. now can you tell us something on the interview how did you manage the interview what questions were asked in interview i mean what all you did for that your mock interview session i attended uh they uh, they they had asked basically simple questions they had asked me where i was working during my senior residency i told them in pediatric emergency then they asked me what are the pediatric hematological emergencies you have encountered then i told uh one case of uh, sickle sickle crisis then they asked me about that and uh, then they showed me two ecgs of hyperkalemia uh tall t waves of uh, ventricular fibrillation they said they told me that you are sitting in the pediatric emergency and what all hematological conditions in which you can see this ecg and how will you manage these cases so it was in flow flow mm. <laughs> yeah. so it's a, it's a clinical presentation like a case yes, sir. yes. yes sir. very good they, they also asked me uh, if I could recall any interesting case in emergency. So that I also told. Great. Now, what will be your message to students who are from the pediatric background to want to do uh, adult DM? What will be your uh, advice to them? Uh, uh, my advice would be like, uh, first, do your 
residency diligently like uh, uh, what basically interests you then uh, after like passing out uh, then during senior residency take a call and give 3 months of dedicated preparation into the branch of their interest and uh, brushing through the uh, most uh, like asked medicinal topics in 3 months and then go for the exam should luck favors the prepared <laughs> should they concentrate on neat ss or any ss uh if they are very if they are very sure about their speciality then i think it will be prudent to uh, start preparing in the lines of ini ss right but the time to thank whom all you want to thank you can use this platform to do so thank you sir thank you uh, thanks to your app <laughs> for providing such beautiful model test papers like which actually mirror like the final exam i would like to thank almighty my parents my brother rajan and my friend selesh who was like with me throughout the preparation and some of my ug friends who were my inspiration shona darpan yes sir yes sir. great doctor and we once again wish you all the very best and all the success for a great career in uh, dm clinical hematology in years to come and definitely your service will benefit millions of patients in years to come and advance wishes so for that and the entire team of faculty of speed and speed institute wishing you all the very best and all the success thank you so much sir thank you, thank you. all the best